Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Tuesday, January 7th, 2020. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day, commit this day to Him, use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord, and use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise, because He is worthy of our praise, He is worthy of our worship, He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Colossians, chapter number 4, it's verses 2 through 4. Scripture says... Continue in prayer, and watch in the same with thanksgiving, with all prayer also for us, that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in bonds, that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Friends, did you ever, were you ever sitting there reading something in scripture, and and something in there just jumped out and hit you like a ton of bricks? Well, that's what happened to me when I was reading these verses, and it was like a, a revelation came on in, in my in my mind, because to be in all honesty, I've never really asked God to open the door for me to speak as I ought to speak, to speak witnessing, to speak about Jesus to people. Now, yes, as a as a minister and as a preacher. You know, I always ask God to give me the words that he would have me to say and to give us something that for for me and for the congregation to hear or the listeners to hear. I've always prayed that, but I've really never took time as I started each day before I would go into work or before I would go out to the grocery store or whatever. I never really took time and said, God, give me an opportunity to talk to somebody about Jesus. And that's exactly what Paul is telling his church at Colossae here. He tells them first off in verse 2 to continue in prayer, to, to always be in prayer, to make sure that prayer is an essential part of our life. And for so many of us, we look at prayer as bowing our heads and closing our eyes and folding our hands. But that's not always prayer. There's times throughout the day as I am at work that something will come to my mind and I'll start praying about it. Or someone will share a need and I'll start praying about it. He says to continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. We need to be having thanksgiving in our prayers, thanking God for answering our prayers, thanking God that we had the opportunity to come to him. But then Paul gets into verse number three. In verse number four, he says, with all praying also for us, he's asking for the church to pray for them, that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ for which I am also in bonds. I'm going to stop there for just a second. He's asking that church to pray for them that God would open a door that they could talk about the salvation available through Jesus Christ. And I can honestly say that I don't remember the last time I prayed that God would open a door for me to talk about Jesus and about salvation, aside from preaching a sermon. But then he he strengthens it even more. When he says that I may make it manifest or make it known as I ought to speak. That's tremendous right there. We ought to be speaking salvation in Jesus Christ. We ought to be telling people about that faith. But all too often I have my head buried in the sand, struggling with things and dealing with things just like the world does. And I don't look any different. Than, than anybody else does, so people aren't aren't prone to, to ask about the gospel. And maybe that's a problem we have here in America today. The church as a whole is that we're not asking God for opportunities to share the gospel. I mean, after all, we have more TV stations, more radio stations in this country than most other countries have. So somebody can can watch the gospel on TV. But no, we need to have that personal interaction. Paul prayed that he would be able to speak and make known the salvation of Jesus Christ or the salvation through Jesus Christ as he ought to speak. And friends, we ought to speak in that same way. 
Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's Word and allow God's Word to get into you. And then share that Word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.